Hi guys, I am Chavi of MrsDakuStudio.com. For those of you who are new, we talk all about working from home and making money online. So if you are interested in it, do not forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. You can also visit our blog at MrsDakuStudio.com. In this video, we will be talking about proofreading and how to start a profitable freelance proofreading business right from the start. If you want to grab an action plan of how to start a freelance proofreading business from home, keep watching. So the first question that I want to talk about is what is proofreading? What does it entail? Proofreading is all about fine combing what is already being edited. So you do not have to worry about rewriting or reframing sentences and paragraphs in a copy. It is not your job to ensure that the copy is coherent or it sounds good. What you are responsible for would be to check formatting, cross-referencing, to ensure there are no grammatical errors, no typos, there are no mistakes in cross-referencing, there is no mistake in formatting, you, you will be responsible for removing the redundant words, look out for omissions, ensuring that you're following the style guide that your client has asked you to. For example, you could follow the AT style, style guide or the Chicago style guide. Do freelance proofreaders really make money doing this? The answer is yes, they do. According to Zip Recruiter, a freelance proofreader in the US makes on an average more than $59,000 in a year. I personally interviewed two freelance proofreaders. One of them earns more than $2,000 in a month working part-time and the second one earns more than $3,000 working full-time as a freelance proofreader. I have linked to the interviews in the description box below. So do not forget to grab it and read them. They have some amazing tips in there. Do you need a college degree to become a successful freelance proofreader? The answer is no. You do not need a formal certification or a formal college degree to start working as a freelance proofreader and earn a full-time income working online. Last but not the least, let's talk about an action plan for you. Using this action plan, you can launch a profitable freelance proofreading business right from the start. So let's get started. The first step is to learn and learn, learn and learn. Learn as much as you can. So what I want you to do is to go online and search for proofreaders. Go to their websites and try to learn what they are doing. So who is hiring them? What kind of work are they doing? What niche are they in? Do a thorough research on freelance proofreaders and try to learn what's working for them. So let's take an example of this proofreader. He is the one whom I interviewed on my blog. So he has a very simple website. You can see what services he's providing. So these are the three ones which he's providing. So I'm very sure that this is profitable for him and that is why he's providing the services. Check out the testimonials. So he has also included with whom he worked with. So if you're interested in proofreading books, you can probably go and check out the clients he has worked with and make a note of it. This will help you in understanding what kind of clients can you target in your business. Let's get back to the presentation. Okay, so I also want you to grab the 45 minutes training from the description box below. Second step is to decide whether you want to go the DIY route or get yourself a mentor. If you have enough budget to buy a course like Proofreading Anywhere, that is one of the best courses available online for proofreaders, go for it. I'll tell you why. So when you buy a course and get yourself a mentor, you're following the exact steps that has been successful for a lot of other students as well. So you know that you are working on the right path. When you DIY your route, there are a lot of mistakes you will tend to make. That is only because you do not know what needs to be done and you are trying out things that you have read online. So it is little difficult with the DIY route to become profitable sooner than others. But when you, you get yourself a mentor, you have multiple benefits. Like if you're stuck somewhere, you can go, If you can reach out to them. There are specific groups which come with courses. So you can network with other proofreaders and they will help you grow. They'll also refer you clients. There are multiple benefits of getting yourself a mentor in a course. But if you cannot, 
don't worry that is not the be all and end all of it you can diy and you can still be a successful proofreader so let's see how the third thing that i want you to do if you want to go the diy route is to learn the following i want you to learn each and every style guide that is there so focus on learning ap style guide chicago style guide the new york style guide and look at other popular style guides that proofreaders are expected to know the second thing i want you to know is proofreading marks so let me show you what i mean by that these are the kind of marks you will be using when you are proofreading content so for example you are using this for deleting or you are using this to say you need to delete a space so there are a lot of such proofreaders mark that you need to use when you are proofreading content and you need to know this the third thing i want you to research and learn a specific terms in case you want your niche to be scientific legal or medical so there are the specific terms in those industries that you need to know once you have done these three i want you to practice them every day you need to get into the habit of using them step 4 for you would be building an online presence see you are going to you you are working online so it is very important for you to have an online presence so claim on your social media profiles create a facebook business page create a services website you will also need to talk to an attorney about forming a legal entity and how that how setting up business works in your area step 5 would be to start networking so you need to start network networking with other proofreaders bloggers creative entrepreneurs on social media you can use linkedin twitter facebook groups and so on and so forth you can also check out the blog post on using facebook groups effectively to land freelance clients on my blog i'm also going to be linking it below in the description box you can grab it from there it has some amazing tips the next thing i want you to do is to find beginner jobs so there are multiple platforms that hire beginner proofreaders and pay you for it so let me show you what are those platforms so you can grab 33 plus platforms on my blog so let's see which ones are hiring so for example there is proofreadingservices.com or there is proofreading pal or wordwise proofreadingnow.com these are some of the platforms that are constantly that there are constantly hiring proofreaders and editors so do not forget to check all of them out and start applying when you are networking there is a possibility that you will land a few clients or people would be ready to work with you so i have only one tip for you be ready to work for free for some time to build up a portfolio to get testimonials which can be used as a social proof with your next client it is very important for potential clients to see who you who you, who you have worked with and what kind of uh, feedback have you gotten on them so social proof is an extremely important part of marketing yourself to potential clients the next step would be to select a niche and market yourself so once you have finished quite a few of those online proofreading jobs you will know what you are interested in so i want you to select a niche it could be ebooks transcripts medical reports contracts etc once you have selected a niche then you need to create a specific marketing strategy for yourself i want you to google cold emailing and learn how to find clients online and pitch them your services directly I have a blog post on this but it is specifically related to freelance writing but if you want to take a look at it you can you can grab multiple tips from them multiple tips from that blog post which is also applicable in this case so do not forget to check that out i'm going to be linking it in the description box below but take some time to market yourself create a strategy to find clients online and reach them out directly Last but not the least do not forget to grab the free training that I am talking about it is by Caitlin and she is a famous proofreader she was able to make more than $40000 working part time as a freelance proofreader 
Now she teaches others and have hundreds of successful students that are now making a full-time income proofreading. I want you to grab that training, training and listen to each and every word that she speaks in those 45 minutes. So there you go. This is all about how to become a proofreader, what is proofreading and how you can start your own proofreading business from home. If you want to talk about, if you want me to talk about something else, do not forget to leave a comment below and let me know. You can also connect with me on my Facebook group, Be Your Own Boss and Quit 9 to 5. Thank you for watching and I hope this helped you out. Thank you.